Hey, how you doing? It's Mike from Get Your Rock Out. Final interview of the day, I'm here with the man. Leave <laughs> within. How you doing, mate? Good man, how are you? Cool. Now, uh, last time I talked to you, um, we were talking about Uprising, it had just come out. Yeah. And uh, you were talking about how uh, how you appreciated how all the fans, you know, they all knew the words already, you know, yeah. they'd only come out recently, fans have really taken to it. Uh, now, quite a few months later, how do you feel about how the album was done? It's been positive, man. It's, apart from well, that tour was the only really tour we played to like our audience. So it's, it's, as far as the live show's concerned, that's the best it's been. That tour we've done the headline one, but so since then we've done like, obviously Megadeth, which is was unbelievable. <laughs> but that wasn't our crowd, so it's hard to tell. But online and stuff like that, it's been so positive. And I'm well happy the way the album's been perceived. Well, I have a quote for you here from uh, my colleague who beat me to that Megadeth show. Not happy with you, Ross. But um, he said, Believe From Within has the muscle and tenacity to slug it out with the heavyweights of the genre. Based on, based on a set that I understand was cut short because sound check went too long. Yeah, we only got to play three songs. Oof. Because uh, that wasn't the sound check went too long, it was uh, uh, the university kids were doing their exams. <laughs> and, uh, which is about as metal as it can get. <laughs> And they didn't finish it. No, we weren't allowed. Basically, us and Megadeth weren't allowed in the venue till half past five. And Meg and Megadeth's <laughs> stage show was insane. It took hours to set up. We were yeah, supposed to go on stage at eight. So I understand there was a bit of trouble that show as well. Dave got into it with someone in the crowd. I don't really know much about that, but <laughs> I know I know some did happen. But Dave, he was amazing, man. He like he made his crew work really hard to make sure that we got to at least play. Because like, basically, when we showed up, the crew said to us. I don't think you're going to be able to play. And then Dave heard about that and he said, no, nah, this band, they're, they're fucking working their asses off. They're definitely wow. getting to play. So, so you got his really endorsement cool, then? Yeah, Dave's a cool guy. Nice. Now, uh, this is a hell of a lineup to be a part of. Yeah. I understand you're on the UK basically, yeah. 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 you're with them, but what is it like being on the road with a on and uh, and hell and carcass? It's amazing, man. I've been a fan of carcass since I was, well, it's more, more, mostly the other guys, but I, 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 I like Carcass Man, I love it. They, they, they invented pretty much, definitely. So yeah, Carcass incredible. I'm on a Marth. I've never really been a huge fan of it. I, I, since this tour though, like, I, it's just I've never really listened to them. And I've watched them in this tour and they're fucking blowing me away, man. Yeah. And it's, once again, it's, this, it's the sort of crowd that we want to be playing to because we are a metal band. And this is where we want to be in this tour, so it's enough for us to be part of this tour. Cool. And of course, keeping busy this year, the yep. Metal Hammer Golden God Award for yeah. Best New Band. Tell me through like the whole experience, finding out about the nomination, winning it. How's it affected you afterwards? Just tell me the whole story about that, because that must be an incredible, incredible honour. Thinking about it now, it's, un it's literally unbelievable. It's, it's, it's the sort of things that we dreamed about when we were a kid. When we were growing up, we were just... Metal fans that love Lamb of God, Pantera, like bands like Machine Head, they wanted, wanted, they wanted to be that metal band that people knew of and we could go on stage and play to all these people and get a reaction from the crowd. And now that it's actually happening and we got that stuff, it's, it's still not even sunk in. It's the sort of thing that I don't like to think too much about. Like, it was obviously mind blowing and that night was incredible and we got wrecked to celebrate, but I, 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 don't, I don't like to think of ourselves as that like because I think you basically when you start seeing yourself like that you become a caricature of yourself and basically can become a, an arsehole. I don't ever want to be with that guy so I just try not to think about it. I'm honestly I've obviously I feel blessed that we, we got that and I feel blessed that all this is happening but I just try not to think too much about it man. I just like to go along with it and enjoy it. It's the best thing you can do man because I think that's how you you always feel humble and appreciative of that way. I just want to go back to uh, the comment about getting wrecked there, just briefly. Because um, I was reading about um, uh, Metal Hammer, who were um, kind of helping out putting on this tour. They say that Belief From Within can drink anyone under the table. Am I to understand that you are out drinking them on the map? We've not drunk with them yet, but <laughs> probably could, yeah. Probably because we're scared of the prospect. <laughs> no, it's only been this only the second night, so hopefully we'll get a drink with them. But I reckon they can drink as well. Man. Yeah, okay. I reckon they, they, they can put it away, but yeah, we can drink. Because quite frankly, I mean, the show's going to be good, but that'll be a contest that'll be interesting to watch. Yeah, we should just do it the last night of the tour, on stage <laughs> after their show, just keep the audience back a few hours and just sit there and drink and to see what's the floor first. <laughs> Fuck it, that'll be a good show. Now the big question, I guess, is having had such an incredible year this year, what do you possibly have in store for next year? 
got loads of exciting stuff coming up and we're just going to go next year so we can't say anything. <laughs> which is well, the Bangles are exclusive then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be announcing it soon though, we've got a, an amazing, like, the perfect tour for us, a band that I grew up loving, we're going on tour in March. I think, I think it's March, but not next year, but I'm really excited. Man. Interesting. Are you going to be swinging back through here on that tour? I think so, yeah. Good, I shall be there. And I will find out this mystery band. <laughs> uh, have you got any plans for a new album? Are you recording, are you writing new songs while you're out? Yeah, we're, we're doing demos just now. Okay. We've, not, we've not got a date or anything set, but I think we're like, we've got four songs in and it's, it's good, man. It's really good. I'm, I'm so excited for the next year to go past so that we can release the next album. Cool. Are you playing any of these like on these shows now? No, 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 still no, no, no. It's still, still, still yeah, it's not even, they're not even finalised yet. It's just kind of, what we tend to do is we write a song. We'll write like, say five or six or even a whole album worth of songs and then we'll go back like, in the last few months before we record them we'll literally just take everything apart and just make sure every song is perfect so we're still way at the early stages but the riffs that Gunze and Martin have been writing up way better than anything we've ever written up right so I'm excited which is quite a bold claim to make so <laughs> be interesting to see that all right then we'll wrap this up then do you have a message right into the camera for all our readers that get a lock out um, Go buy Uprising, come see us in our next tour, which you don't know about yet. Thanks very much. <laughs> Cheers.